apparently Diddy been having this debate uh, all well, last week. He was talking to Timberland, and then Chris Brown got offended about R&B being dead. Now, he's been saying this for a couple years now. <clears throat> he should know a thing or three about uh, R&B because, you know, he uh, he helped tell you know you have you know he had his hand uh, uptime record with Jodeci and a couple other acts over there, and uh, he, you know hip hop as a whole is is just you know Bourbon say you either gotta evolve or get left behind, but there's some places that and you know this guy this ain't evolution of rap, you know this word this the evolution of rap it's moving backwards, all right um, of hip hop in general you know it's the culture. The clothes, the fashion, you know, the dancing, the rap, the uh, <clears throat> R&B. And I don't really consider, you know, Chris Brown R&B neither. He more like pop. He got a couple R&B songs, but he more pop than R&B. He ain't like really rhythm and blues, you know. It ain't really like Mary J or, you know, or Jodeci or like Barry White, Donny Hathaway. You know what I'm saying? Luther Vandross, like, <clears throat> And he write about it. there's a couple you know good artists out there, but a lot of the female artists seem to have more of that. It sound the same. They both got that like Janae Aiko that that really really um, soft voice. You know you ain't got nobody that's blowing like Angela Rim Wimbrush or who sound like Cheryl uh, Lynn or nothing like that. They all pretty much sound the same to me. And it's hard for me to tell the difference. Now I do. I did like that Khalid or that Khalil song. We can talk, you know. I did like her damage. That song is that song's bananas, right? Those are good solid R and B songs. But you talk about the whole Neo Cell thing with Music Soul Trial, Angie Stone, D'Angelo. I mean, you know, Jaheem. They just ain't doing that no more. That's why you see them still hustling to the same songs, early two thousands all the way up to the uh, the early two thousands all the way you know, on back. You know, the 90s, the 80s, they really don't, like, make R&B no more. You know, like, Michael Jackson, he was, like, at one point, they was, like, R&B, and he had just became the king of pop, though. So, it's all about evolution, but it ain't enough R&B singers. He right, it ain't something that's really, like, who you really listening to that you about to go, you know, bust the cheeks to? Really, who? You know what I'm saying? Who? You know, and obviously Beyonce, she doing like house music stuff now, and she done put on her work in, uh, you know, throughout throughout the years. But it, it's it's just not it's not too much potent R and B. And the way it was told to me was that R and B is more more the underground sound is R and B. Now, now, I don't like I ain't really like really listening to that type of music in a long time. But Diddy should know he had his hand in some of the biggest R and B acts of all time. A lot of people consider the 90s the golden age of R&B, you know. Um, the early 2000s was sick, too. I mean, boy, in the 90s, you had Troop, H-Town. I mean, just, you know, groups that people forget about. Early 2000s, Jagged Edge, Drew Hill, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you had you had a prefla of very, very good gentlemen and females. Mariah Carey was phenomenal. Destiny's Child, a lot of people like them. TLC was making R&B. You know, Blue, Blue Contrail had a good song. I mean, bro, you had you had some you had some you had you know you had some good acts. You know, you had some phenomenal acts. And right now, you listen, it's just like you don't feel it in your soul no more. You know, it's just like R and B is is soulless. It's R and B is rhythm and blues. It's not it's not the 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 beat. It's something that's for the soul. It's you know R and B supposed to be soul. We talking about Barry White. I mean, you know, some phenomenal stuff. Shit, Billy Ocean was 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 good. People forget about Billy Ocean, but he was he was really good. You know, and um, you know, but yeah, it's it's it's, la it's lacking that. He he is a hundred percent right. It is lacking uh. It's, it's lacking that element, bro. The element of, of, of sex appeal. You know, not just the look, the music gotta sound sexy. And that's why Jagged Edge, 112, and shit like that, they will forever be in rotations that have at, at weddings of of a certain uh of a certain uh of a certain age. Of a, of a certain age. Like that new music dude, and I'm in my 30s, so I'm not old. 
at all by no stretch of the imagination early 30s if you want to be exact i'm not old at all but this music they putting out right now a lot of it and then the guy people you hear you don't really hear follow-up songs you don't really hear the follow-up songs like you supposed to really hear them so i mean i got the agree with him and i didn't really pretty much i didn't really hear what chris brown had so I, but i don't consider him an r&b singer he got a couple r&b songs i could think of not a big fan but like the dream you know them couple albums that he had woo woo you 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 try, you busting cheeks to them for sure for sure a couple albums that he had was fire hot, hot, hot fish grease fire Neo fire. You know, to me, you ain't got to dance and all that shit because I don't really plan on going to the concerts and shit, but we a long way from Frankie Beverly and Mays, OJs. You know, I ain't seen all of them perform. You know what I'm saying? The Temptations. You know, I ain't seen all of them perform. And, and, and the student of all their music, Stevie Wonder, it's just, it's, mi it's missing a soul. It's missing, the game is, is missing somebody that's very, very soulful. That that's music got that sex appeal. You know what I'm saying? That's just, you know, you know, that old, you know, they missing that music soul child swag. The music right now is just, but you got to understand, there ain't a lot of love going on in the world need nothing <laughs> right now. And and, and, my, and the people that grew up in my generation, we were spoiled, bro. We we were very spoiled when it came to, to, to even, even pop music, we were spoiled. The 90s was a hell of a time. It seemed like everything, you know, it just seemed like everything just came to a boiling point. And everything was great. Female rap was coming along. Man, somebody. Female rap was coming. R&B, I mean, man, you guys say, what's just better than the 90s, R&B or rap? Boy, that, that demand, dude, that's a, that's a real debate. And this is how looking at both was at their pinnacle. Both, both was at their pinnacle, bro. Real talk, both was at their pinnacle. Both was at their... So Diddy got a huge point. Like, I listen, and I don't, I don't, I don't feel that you don't have to cry. I don't feel that Angela right now. I don't feel that. I don't feel that earth, wind, and fire. I don't feel that gap band, Ohio players. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel it. I don't feel it, man. And they can take offense to it. But prove us right, prove us wrong. That shit, that, that R and B man, yeah, that, that, that's trash. Now, I don't listen to no scissors, no shit like that. Don't appeal to me. No, so and take just take it as a challenge to somebody who had a huge hand on R and B music in the nineties. If anybody know, he would know. And it's not, it's not that feeling of of, of sexual healing. I don't like you have to go. You know, bro. But like I said before, I'm. You know, I, I was. We were spoiled in my age bracket. Like, well, you know, you hear them hustle. They still hustling to the same, the same mixes and shit like that. They don't even. You can't even like really feel that shit, like you used to feel in the nineties. Like used to be, you hear Usher, you know, you hear, you know, seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drive. You see, you as a kid, you not you not deciphering the lyrics. You know, you just, it sound good. It's good for the soul. You know, like, uh, what was some Joker's name? Uh, Next. You be singing that song as kids don't even know it's about getting a Woody. He said right in the beginning of the Dirty Vibe, wonder can she tell if I'm hard? Dude, you know, why you are you know. Them to that type of music with a vibe is just like, you know what I'm saying? It's just the whole vibe. You know, it's just. That's your dead, but hey, I agree with Diddy on that one. Anybody can get mad, they can get mad. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop the video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. Uh, PayPal link description. Austin awesome link. True find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Check out the news and entertainment playlist for more videos like this. Peace.